Recording. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Then, oh, fucking. Not that microphone is all the way over there, so let's get that in front first. Alright. Wait for him to fall asleep. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Hollow Knight, where this guy won't stop chanting. Yes, thank you very much, darling. Anyway, we're back after a small hiatus in which I was recovering my everything. And uh, I've, as we've gotten the map thing, I have unequipped the Thorns of Agony and instead we have the compass now. That's the only change I've made. And well, let's continue on. Oi! Watch where you're going, you soggy vagabond! I don't want you splashing me! I've had a miserable time, Terry. I'm trying to keep dry. I am Zotty the Mighty, a knight of great renown. If I decide that I'm going to stay dry, then that's what's going to happen. Curse this wretched city. Water and monsters constantly fall from above. It's no wonder this blasted kingdom fell to ruin. Sure there, sure there, buddy. Have you seen them? The gods who still patrol this city, even after dying? <laughs> Being overly devoted to one's duty is no virtue. Yes, yes, sure. At least they are devoted to something. The only thing you are devoted to is lying and being shit at fighting and everything else as well. Anyway. Oh, there's something up here. Cool. You can leave, break all these lanterns if you want to. And we've got a shortcut over here. Which leads all the way back down to, towards the fungal wastes, which is pretty good. And there's also a reason we've come this way, because we actually had a bit of a forking path. But I... Ow. Uh, there's an item which I want to get as early as possible, because it's annoying to get later on. And I mean, not like that, it, it's just annoying encountering things that can only be used with it um, when you haven't gotten it. Like this over here. This is exactly what I was talking about. We'll see what that does in a bit. I just need to get it, you know. Anyway, let's explore these apartments. Also, sorry I'm a bit rusty because I, I just need to back, get back into the style of this yes. There's nothing up there. Well, there's something up there, but not through there. Hello there, darling. Die. Thank you very much. I think there is... Oh, yes, there is. I think that's just Rancid Act, though. Maybe? Maybe it's something good. No, it's a simple key, that's nice, I don't have to buy one. Uh, because that what that uh, leads to a specific spot, which is important. Uh, I mean, it's so important that you literally can't fucking pass the game without getting there. Uh, so, you know, it's rather important. Uh, just a bit more and we'll be at the place we need to go, but first let's... Damn you! Ow! I hate this guy over here. I remember him fondly, and by fondly I mean wanting to fucking tear his guts out. Fondly. Ow! Goddamn fucking spikes. Reset spikes are the goddamn worst, although they are sometimes necessary, but still I hate them. And now we can get back up here. Here we can open another station. Which is rather good. We'll be opening a cup, I think, two in this episode. Maybe three if we get there. Not sure. Thank you very much. I remember this station well. A common trip it was. Goods from all over the kingdom were transported here. Not a lot was sent back the other way, though. Alright. What's this called just city storms I guess that makes sense then <laughs> let's save the game well that will cause the fucker over here to respawn which is annoying but you know we can just drop down and avoid him altogether no biggie and uh, watch out because if I remember correctly the 
floor caves in somewhere around here and that's not good think over yonder no hmm I think uh, hmm. that might be somewhere else then or maybe a bit hmm. but I remember it there maybe my memory is just awful that is also a distinct possibility we are paying a lot today also that lovely crest up there is it, well rather lovely wait am I going to hmm. I'm not sure if I'm going to where I want to go or a different place that is also oh so all right oh no this is the shortcut back up to here but that's all right because I wanted to go this way anyway all right that's one down oh this is the place I was thinking of so I guess it was close by I just my my mind linked it to it a bit earlier than ow oh, actually really that's a really annoying game all right is anybody in the way no then let's drop down here's where you can get back out if you want to do that instantly and here's just a couple of them I would use a simple attack and that should kill all of them Ow. I'm playing rather reckless if you haven't noticed is that a mask fragment no that's an orb fragment that's also fine at least I can showcase what it does oh wait no I only got one I can't finish a single fucking one of these, can I? <laughs> Fucked up last time with that as well. Oh well, that's one step closer to completion. That's like the important bits of completion, not like hidden, hidden away stuff, but rather hidden away stuff that is very important. Mm, yes. Get out. Ooh, money. Anything else? No, okay. Well, at least we are one step closer, which is always nice. And straight back down. I think that we can go to the place I want to before fighting the boss of this area. If I do remember correctly, but I will see. This area is really quiet, apparently, also. If you, have noticed, if you haven't noticed, there's no music. Rather good atmosphere, I have to say. Hopefully, as I go back down, the music is gonna reappear, though. Oh, there it goes, finally. It can get on my nerves when I hear it the thousandth time, but it's better than nothing, that's what I'm sure. What? The? That's the first visual glitch I've seen in this game, which is impressive, because I played it for a while. <laughs> Ow. There we go. That's one down. And I think there should be another one. Or not. Also works fine. Ah yeah, this is the way forwards. And that little thing under there, we can't go that way because that's locked off. Prepare, because this is not a fun area. Because these fuckers are around. And these things are the worst in the history of anything ever. I really, really, really hate them. There we go. Good fucking night, you piece of shit. They don't seem that bad, but their attacks are really hard to avoid before you can get a rhythm of it down. Oh yeah, and have I said that this area is the best for music? And that we have immediately went out of there so we can like, check it out, but let's send this down because I want to open this. Ow, that's fine. And I think we can't go this way because uh, this needs an ornate key, which I know where it is, but uh, we we actually need to use a simple key to get the ornate key in a way, I guess. Uh, but um, well, very vaguely, it's in that direction. The thing we need to actually get it. Also, the area in this music. The area in this music. Okay, Andrew. <laughs> the area. The music in this area is fucking fantastic. Oh yeah, those things. These things are just ghosty goos. You can get a call Ghostbusters and not be afraid of them. Either or works. Yeah, die. Also, um, we'll encounter lore later on, but uh, while we waltz through this area, keep in mind that this was... Uh, 
what they built in order to harvest the soul. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, we can't go in here, apparently. Yeah, apparently. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, this is the air. This is an area that they built in order to be able to harvest the soul, which is uh, not the soul, just soul in general. You know, the resource we use to cast fucking spells. God damn this thing. So, just while we look at everything and the ghosts and the fucking horrific things, just think about that. Ah, here's. Ah, god damn it. Here's me failing. Alright. Here's the first specimen. Record Abba. The mind still limits us, so. Had to break past its constraints to attain a pure focus. Is it even possible? Yeah, they put bugs in these types of stuff, so I guess they are much like human, yay. More ghosts, by the way. I apparently don't one-shot them as well, so that's concerning. For what's ahead. Because this is not a good area, because this is where that guy is. And this guy is rather not fun to fight, although I do have some rechecks. So it's a bit easier for me. Yeah. Poof. That can be a bitch the first time you fight it. Also notice the cracks in that glass above us. That's gonna be a thing later. Hmm, yes. Uh, you first want to head down, unless you, every time you die in the boss to this, in this area, you want to walk for 700 miles. It's a good idea to go down and open all the shortcuts for, before. Hello, ghosty goo. And this opens this. You don't have to wait for it, as far as I know. It should be fine. Hello, ghosty goo. Ow. What a bastard. I'm trying to kill the person who did this to you and you fucking attack me. How oh, goddamn dare you? You utter bastard. Ah well. Now we head up here. Fight another one of these fuckers. Hopefully it reports down next to me. There we go. Can you fucking stop? There we go. He fucking stopped finally. And completely. And it will never fucking move again. Just like I want it to do. Alright. Uh, skip. That area is place so you can't just run past it on your first playthrough, by the way. Like, the first time you come through there. Uh, there's nothing here, is there? No, I don't think there is. I think that just marks that you can't go this way. Go stick I'll read it. Actually, I'll, if I get the codex entry on these guys right now, then I'll read it right now as well. Because... Uh, it's rather nice. N not nice, you know. The opposite of nice, but it is interesting as far as I remember correctly. Yeah, there's a lot of ghosty goose here. You can just run past this area, but I'm not a bitch. And nor am I frustrated enough to attempt that. Because I don't fight, run for fights unless I'm looks and getting chased by seven Zeds. <sighs> Although that's not really a fight at that point, that's just rape. Alright. Ah, oh, yeah, this is. Can you not? Oh, you well played, you son of a bitch! Yeah, they follow you really, really, really vigorously. That's why they're incredibly annoying. God damn you. Mm. They're even harder to defeat. If you don't have, uh, if you don't have equipped my beautiful, beautiful nail, which is absolutely gorgeous and far-reaching, mm, yes. uh, don't miss the secret in this area, which I've missed for the longest time. I don't know how I missed it. I mean, it's right goddamn here. There is fuck ton of ghosts here. But we got the thing, Spell Twister. I think that just improves the strength of your spells. Or something along those lines. Did I get both entries? I'm not sure. 
if I wait here I should spawn more I think uh, let me check the journal and we'll read this separately but I do want this added here just because where are they gimme oh no I need I need like fuck ton more of them although we will get them uh, and then I'll read them what they actually are but they are called follies which is rather good get these because these give more soul for you before the boss fight because this is where we are going to fight the boss so if you look in the distance there is a boy there and he levitates and cool shit and such soul master the boss fight I hated the most in my first playthrough. It, it took me like ages to actually kill this fucker. I really, really, really hated him. I'm gonna heal. Ah yeah, this this attack is really annoying. You can't dash through him, by the way. Yep. Perfect. And yeah, that's that's the one of the hardest, one of the most annoying things that he does, which is really cool because cool because instead of just being a straight up dash, he actually occasionally beat. Uh, like, baits out your dodge. Yes, over here is a perfect place to heal when he does that. Got him. Okay. And you gotta get really good at dodging both of those types of attacks. For what will be later. You gotta... Oh, I beat it. Oh, nice. Are you alright, dude? Also, pro tip, before you continue, if you have health loss, heal that up before you pick this up. Why? Well... Because he decides, fuck you! He's the master of souls, so of course he can fuck you over some more. There we go. Thank you very much, darling. I think you can tell by how much I know this boss, how many times it fucking took me to fucking kill it. And this time it actually lets us fucking collect the desolate dive. Which is an attack I rarely if ever actually use. I usually just use it to clear areas. Which is one of its main purposes. To be honest. Don't use it here just yet. There's stuff up here. And yes, that glass is... That's mainly there if you fuck it up. And here's the actual boss reward. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious, delicious Geo. Got them pick it up. That's gonna go to a good cause, let me tell you. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there, but there is some one more codex entry, which is rather good. They do spawn more of these because uh, you actually need up downwards. Yeah, thank you very much. They do that just in case you ran out of mana or soul, I guess, uh, so you don't get stuck at any areas. Uh, don't continue on because there's stuff to collect everywhere, like over here. A Hallowness Steel, which sells for two 
50 if I remember correctly. Some more of this. That goddamn thing which you need to... Yeah, this area can be rather annoying. I actually got reduced to like very small amount of health a couple of times here. Open the shortcut. Shoot these fuckers. Before we continue on, we are going to go up still for once because uh, you probably saw the guy who is the reason why you needed to see that. Thank you very much. Whee! Now let's kill these things. I'm gonna kill a couple more of them so we actually get the, you know, codex entry. Are you enough, darling? No, you are not. Hmm. Well, cut to it. Hmm, okay, let's continue on. This is under the boss area. There is that boy who will come back to eventually. We need his corpse for one something very, very special. Ah, hello there, darling. Hmm. And zhubri And remember that glass I told you about? It's over here! Yeah! And we actually cleared this area for the most part. Which is rather lovely. Still don't get the goddamn codex entries. Gimme, gimme, gimme. God damn you. Hmm. Oh well, I'll come back at the end of the episode, like my own time, you know? Meanwhile, let's head on. Because we are actually completely done with this area. Although we do need to go to a bench to save our progress. So let's do that right now. I love the music in this area. It's the best. Cornifer is gone because we've killed the boss of the area, which is, I believe, when he moves. And the Soul Sanctum is completely cleared, apart from a couple of things, but we can't get them yet. 